Welcome back to Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Tuesday, January 21st, 2020. Let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Goal setting is one of those important executive functioning skills that you really don't grasp the importance of until you're an adult. That being said, Flex Lewis is a full grown man and right now his goal is to shock the bodybuilding world by the end of the 2020 season. Rumor has it that Flex's off season has officially begun, which is weird because I thought it's pretty much been all off season all the time since he decided to take some time off. But if for some reason new things are officially official, well I guess we're about to see some fireworks in the men's open division. Presidential cabinet positions are some of the most important jobs in the government because these people are the experts who advise world leaders on critical decisions that have huge policy implications. And that's why it's important to surround yourself with smart people who are well qualified, sort of like what Sergio Oliva Jr. is doing right now. Last week, Sergio announced on social media that he was moving in with bodybuilding legend Chris Cormier for the rest of the Arnold Classic prep, which is about as close to a cabinet position as you get in bodybuilding. I know Sergio has high personal expectations heading into this show and having Chris Cormier in your corner goes a long way towards helping anyone reach these goals. So as long as these two remain on the same page, hopefully the end result will be a career best performance that leaves everyone buzzing. I bet you didn't know that the average weight of an 18 year old male in the US is about 190 pounds. So with that in mind, when you see William Bonac knocking out reps with 180 pound dumbbells and making it look like light work, what you should really be thinking in the back of your head is that William Bonac could potentially pick up two high school seniors at the same time and completely manhandle them if you really wanted to. The former Arnold champ looks like a serious threat to regain his title this year, which should put him in the pole position as the Olympia challenger to beat if he can pull it off. So as long as he keeps picking up steam, he's as likely as anyone to walk out of Columbus with the win. They say people overestimate what they can do in a day, but underestimate what they can do in a month. If you're doing the math at home, blessing a Wabadoo is somewhere around two months and one week away from making his pro debut. So then the question becomes, do we overestimate or underestimate what he's capable of between now and the Arnold Australia. The newest updates from Blessing's team show him looking the leanest he's been since right after he turned pro, which tells me that he's doing his homework. There might be a few spots in the top six at this show that have enough wiggle room to be pried loose. So if he applies enough pressure, you never know what might end up busting open when the final curtain falls. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.